Hello all, in this video we will learn the flash and RAM memory allocation in DWIN HMI display and also how to edit the configuration bin file. Let us open a project. In the right hand side you can see the project folder where we have one image file and one font file .hzk font file. Notice the uh, project folder when we click on the project here. We select the path and then click on OK automatically some folders are created main is the dvin underscore set folder and image and icon folders nothing is inside this folder as we have not completed the design and then the hmi and tft files now add the uh, image to the project first we have to create a dot icl file of the background images that is the first step of any project go to icl tool of uh, dgas software and then select the image we have only one image and then generate ICL store this image as 32.icl inside the dwin underscore set folder of your project now let us see the flash memory non-volatile memory of dwin display most of the models have 16 megabytes of memory divided into 64 subspaces of each 256 kilobytes the file ID ranges from 0 to 63 recently we created 32.icl which is a background image that file id is 32 file id of font file hzk is 0 and background file is 32 file allocation table for flash memory is shown here file id 0 is font and 0 to 11 you can store this font files 12 is input method file 13 touch file 14 display file 22 config file 32 background image 48 icon files each file id capacity is fixed to 256 kb the system generates some bin files automatically for this first you save the project and then click on generate button once you click the generate button notice the project folder automatically three files are created bin files 13 touch 14 show and 22 config this uh, file id cannot be changed it is standard 13 14 22 as seen from the file allocation table so these three bin files are automatically created according to your touch and uh, display design in your uh, project next we'll see the ram space ram space is uh, total 128 kilobytes which is volatile that is when you switch off the power this is uh, this memory will erase the address range is from 0x0000 to fff each address corresponds to two bytes that is one board and 0000 to 0FFF is for system variable address space and it is not available for user for user 1000 to FFFF is available in case of code graphic is not used so let us uh, add one uh, data variable to the project and then allot memory VP let us say 2000 and then for the touch control we'll add the incremental adjustment to plus and minus to the right hand side we'll do the settings same VP we'll provide and then adjustment method lower limit and upper limit now you have to save the file and then generate again so according to this uh, touch selection and the design this bin files will be modified by the system accordingly that is the 13 14 22 config files will be modified according to your settings so finally you have to generate before downloading the project to the sd card now let us see the configuration edit file cfg edit in this configuration file you can see the uh, icl address is 32 baud rate is 11 5 200 and then the file 22 is auto loaded and uh, 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 display direction main thing is the display direction if you want to change the display direction you have to do it in this configuration file 0 90 270 180 and 270 once you do the changes you click on new cfg and save this as t file cfg no other naming is allowed t file cfg dot cfg is automatically allotted into the dvin underscore set folder uh, to edit this file we have ultra edit uh, hex editor in the degas uh, website but this is in chinese so we'll be using pspad editor hex editor this open source pspad editor download this pspad hex editor and install it now you can uh, open any bin or configuration file using this pspad editor uh, right click the bin file and then open with the pspad 
same way for the next file suppose you want to open the uh, 14 display file right click that file and uh, click on open using ps pad so another tab will be displayed with this uh, new bin file same way you can open the config uh, file generated by the system our interest is uh, t file cfg file configuration file we created so open this t file cfg file using ps pad editor this file looks simple it's just uh, three rows of hex data the starting hex value is uh, address is 00, 0 where you find value of 54354C4331 this is called header value you cannot change it this is unique for T5LIC at location 0x05 we have a hex value of 0x38 let us convert this to binary and decode it to understand the settings in the the CFG file this verify a very important parameter 0x05 location we have value of 0x38 let us convert it to binary 00111000 the last one is the LSB and the left side is the MSB let us decode it the last bit 0 and 1 is the display direction 0 0 means 0 degree 0 1 is 90, 90 degree 10 is 180 degree, 11 is 270. Suppose you want to change the direction of the display, you have to do this uh, last bit settings that you can easily do it in the CFG file. Just select uh, 90 degree or uh, 180 degree in CFG file, these two bits will be automatically changed. So you have to read it as bit 1 and 0, not 0 and 1. And then the bit 2 is for backlight enable or disable. 0 means disable, close. 1 is enabled. Now it is disabled. And uh, bit 3 is sound. It is enabled now. And 4 is touch data upload enabled. Here if you want to enable the touch data upload, you have to uh, put a tick mark here. So it will be 1. And D5 is load 22 bin file on power on. If you select the load, it will become 1. And bit 6 is buzzer. Suppose you want to use the buzzer, it will be 0. If you want to use music instead of buzzer, it will be 1. And D7 bit is CRC check for UART. Uh, we have not enabled the CRC in this uh, configuration file, so it is 0. So put together, the value is 0x38 hex. This is very important value. Let us go to the 06 address. It is extended NAND flash setting. Suppose you want more uh, flash memory than 16 MB, you have to solder the IC and do the configuration. Address 07 is for music file allocation, uh, location of the music file. And 0x08 is for background image IC location. Here we have a hex value of 0x20. If you convert it to decimal, it comes to 32 decimal. That is why we store the background image ICL file as 32.ICL. If you open the CFG file, you can see it is 32. If you want to change the location, you can do it. But memory allocation will be a problem. So always stick to the default 32.ICL. Address location 0x09, we have the touch panel refresh rate, which is default is 0x28. That is 400 hertz and uh, the next one is the baud rate setting location 0x 0a we have two bytes 0a and 0b represents baud rate the uart baud rate uh, the maximum value is 32.25600 hex value is 03ff if you divide that by the set baud rate suppose wanted baud rate is 115200 divide by that you get the value 2a decimal which is 1c as it is two bytes you have to write it as 001c starting from location address location 0a suppose the baud rate is 9600 the value is 0150 according to the calculation and then the address location 0c is the start of brightness the value is 64 uh, which means maximum brightness that is at the location 0c and location 0d uh, is the standby brightness it's uh, now we have the value of 32 so standby brightness is half the maximum brightness and the value at 0e is the wake up timer after standby which is in units of 10 milliseconds it, uh, we have two bytes for this now the second row of configuration file the display and touch configuration mode is done at the factory in case of any screen problem like a white screen or a flickering of screen you have to get the default cfg file from the factory and you have to do this uh, second row modification otherwise it's not required 
if you write at second row that is at the location 0x10 starting if you write a phi a and then a phi at 0x11 it indicates that the values from 0x12 to 0x1 of parameters will take effect if it is uh, 0 0 that is a 0 x 1 0 value is 0 0 means the second row will not take effect the this only in case of screen problem you have to do this now you have to let us see the third row this is only for capacitive screen sensitivity suppose at uh, location 0 x 2 0 if you put a phi a now the configuration at 0 x 2 2 position will take effect which has the sensitivity value which is 0 x 1 4 default value this is only for capacitive touch uh, type of screens suppose you put a glass over the capacitive touch screen you would increase the sensitivity so you have to increase the sensitivity from 0 x 1 4 to higher one the address at location uh, 0 x 2 b is the sound volume that is the du duty cycle of the buzzer and 2d is uh, duration of the buzzer now we have some sample cfg files let us uh, uh, check out these sample files from the factory first one uh, is a cfg file with the third row modified here we have phi a at 0 to 0 and 0 f at 0 to 1 location which turns on the touch panel configuration uh, this is required only if you have a screen problem and if you download the default file from factory so the second cfg file we have a phi a 07 this is to turn off the touch panel configuration once you turn on the touch panel configuration you have to do it uh, turn off otherwise every time you download the dvin underscore set folder you have to do the uh, screen screen configuration now let us download the first file that is with the touch panel configuration cfg file let us uh, load it inside the dvin underscore set folder and put the sd card uh, onto the uh, display and then switch on the power now you can see the direction has changed as you have changed the direction to from 00 to 90 so the direction is changing and also the touch panel configuration starts you can see the plus symbol at the left corner touch on that and then to the right it will appear lower right corner and then the lower left corner and then to the center touch as per the, the plus symbol appears and then switch out the power and then switch it on again now you can see the direction has changed from 00 to 90 degree to switch off the touch panel configuration again you have to load the uh, configuration file with the third row phi a 07 so let us copy this configuration file and again load it now the blue screen will appear and finally the plus symbol will not appear that is the touch panel configuration is switched off this is required only when the, there is if you face the uh, display problem otherwise it is not required some more cfg file samples let us see let us change the direction to 90 degree and then store the uh, configuration file as t file cfg dot cfg now open this in cfg editor now you can check the uh, location 0x05 location that is the hex location previously we had uh, 0x38 when the direction was 00 now you can see the value has changed to 0x39 so the last uh, two bits the bits uh, 0 and 1 has changed to direction so the value is 39 now the hex 39 if you load the uh, divin underscore set the direction will change now let us change the baud rate in the cfg edit let's change the baud rate from 115200 to 9600 and then generate new cfg store it as t file cfg and open it using pspad editor and check the location at 0x0a and 0x0b bring to calculation uh, the value is 0150 that is 32 25600 divided by 9600 x value 0150 so always do this uh, cfg edit only only when there is display problem otherwise do not handle the cfg edit thank you for watching